There are, however, some important differences in the anticyclone and the weather they bring in the summer and the winter. Um, and one of those important differences is with regard to temperature. In the summer, the temperatures in an anticyclone tend to be very high. And in the winter, the temperatures tend to be very low, very, very cold. Write that in there. Very low. Now, why is that? A couple of reasons here. Um, in the summer, you have got really, really long days. And because the days are long, when the sun is shining, it shines for hours and hours and hours. You get more heat, more heat received from the sun uh, because of those longer days. And then, of course, if you've got longer days, you've got shorter nights, which means that there is radiation lost. How much? Is it more or less because the nights are shorter? Which one is it? Well, because you have shorter nights, there is less radiation lost. Let me give you a little example or analogy like this. The cloud kind of acts like a blanket or, or like a duvet uh, on your bed and it traps the heat in. Um, if your duvet ever falls off in the middle of the night, you're waking up cold because the heat just escapes. So the cloud acts like a duvet to keep the heat in. But in an anticyclone, of course, the air is falling and you generally don't get much cloud. So at night, the skies are clear. You see loads and loads of stars and the radiation is lost. But in the, in the summer, the shorter nights means that there's less radiation lost um, because there are no clouds to keep the heat in because the nights are short. Uh, in addition to that, you have got um, something to do with the angle of the sun. Now think back to when we looked at temperature in the climate section, and this will help you for this temperature and latitude. In the summer, the sun is higher in the sky, which means that the um, heat energy that comes down from the sun comes down at quite a steep angle and is concentrated more. In contrast with that, in the winter, the sun is much, much lower in the sky and it approaches at a much more gentle angle and the heat is spread out over a larger area. So the heat is concentrated here and on that smaller area, it's spread out over a larger area here. So because of the long days, short nights, concentrated heat, you get higher temperatures in the summer. Now, in the winter, it's the opposite. So why don't you have a go at pausing the video and see if you can fill in those blanks um, on this side, the opposite of the blanks on this side. Right, let's check over. If in the summer you've got longer days, in the winter you've got shorter days. If the longer days mean that more heat is received from the sun, the shorter days means that less heat is received from the sun. In the summer you've got shorter nights, in the winter you've got longer nights. It can be dark by the time you got home from school in the winter and dark even in the next morning when you get up. If there are longer nights that means that you're going to have um, remember, you've no clouds there, so there is more time for more radiation to be lost um, with the lack of clouds to keep there, no clouds to keep the heat in. And in addition, in the summer, if you've got a higher angle of the sun, in the winter, you've got the lower angle of the sun. Um, and if the higher angle in the summer means the heat is concentrated, means the heat is more spread out. And that's why the temperatures then are colder in the winter and warmer in the summer. Right, the second summer and winter differences are to do with humidity, the amount of water vapour in the air and um, what that water vapour does. Now we've said plenty of times now that there is falling in an anticyclone. That means they're not normally associated with cloud or rain. In the summer though, however, if temperatures fall enough overnight, you will get the temperatures drop slightly. Condensation will occur at the surface forming dew on the grass. What about in the winter? Um, you've got long cloudless nights, means the temperatures can fall away very, very quickly below freezing. If this occurs, you can get 
fog. And if you wake up the next morning and discover frost all over the front of your car. So those are the summer winter differences. And summer anticyclones are warm because of the longer days and shorter nights and the higher angle of the sun. Winter anticyclones are colder because of the shorter days and longer nights and the lower angle of the sun. And in terms of humidity in the summer, an anticyclone can bring some dew very early in the morning. In the winter, an anticyclone can bring frost and fog.